Hey guys, how's it going? I just want to show you some of my um, sketchbook work I've been working on recently. Um, yeah, let's get on to it. So, um, this is um, a just your starter sketchbook, Eco um, C White sketchbook. Very cheap to buy, it's only about £1.30. Very cheap to buy, actually. You, they, you know, I prefer. Um, very cheap sketchbooks anyway because I feel like if you buy a very expensive very thick sketchbook I feel more conscious like I need to make them perfect and I don't want to treat my sketchbook work like that so I have to go backwards I don't want to go backwards what I've been doing so um I've just been looking through my materials and I realized I have inks I have these, um, let me show you what inks I'm using. So, I have these inks I had for years. Oh, one minute, sorry. Oops, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, I had these inks I haven't used for a very long time, and these are way old. These are about, I don't know, a few years old. I had them when I was in college. So I bought a set of these. I had more of these, but some are dried out and some are still like got a lot of ink in them. So I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to use them for my sketchbook work. So that's what I did. So I used them for just to colour in, fill in some colours of the flowers. Let's see, I picked them some drawings I did. Quite a nice drawing. And it gives you more of an idea of, of um, the colour scheme and what colour flowers or... Um, it's actually quite nice. Very, you know what? We're using ink. It's a very strong pigment. You don't really need to mix it. It's just very one application of it. It's just all you need really, and not too much because so strong in the colours. So that was that. So it was this one I used. The um, if I can get a better picture of it. Oh, it's called Scarlet. So yeah, this. So I use Scarlet for the. Many of the rows or anything to do with red, I use scarlet. Whereas more like a pink effect. And I use the violet for the <laughs> for the grass. <laughs> you know, if you have old materials, it's always best to actually just use them because it can come to it can be a waste if you don't. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to use them for my sketchbook work. The same thing for this. I um, you know. So these are just sketches I did. Now they may become all the colour paintings, or they may not. But if they do, I'll, I'll see. But I just recently bought got a book um, on watercolour underneath. So I'm gonna see if I can, use, you know, I can do more watercolour paintings. This is quite nice. I like the um, the flowers. So then I'll paint the uh, drawing of the cat. So this is how I normally. Um, use a sketchbook very just many pens and pencil I don't really add a lot to it it's like a, it's kind of like a very simple way of drawing like you can see that the idea is how the ideas kind of came in form this was recently painted and this one is practically the same as this one so you can see that how I just roughly sketched it just to have an idea of where I'm going to place the um, subject and how I'm going to do the tones and all that. So that's basically a sketchbook for. A sketchbook's for like for ideas and and a place where you can just scribble out ideas. It's basically for your mind to just go go out in terms of ideas and and you're in a sense of idea how you're going to place the, the subject where you're going to put some. some yeah. This is quite cool. I just did a quick sketch of him using the yellow, the yellow um, ink. So I use this yellow. Just simply applied it. Just a simple pencil um, sketch. Very yeah, quite cool actually. It's also a place for practice. Like if you wanted to practice drawing, you know that's what a sketch was for. Just to practice drawing. So this is my first initial stage of using ink. It's quite colourful actually. It can be very colourful. It can actually bring a lot of um, 
life to the you know, page. Quite cool actually. A lot of it's scribbling. <laughs> That's how I normally work. A lot of it's just pure scribble. And you know, I don't really spend that long sketching as well. That I normally spend between, um, uh, let's say, roughly about ten to. I don't know. It really depends on the subject. So. A drawing like this would normally take me 10 minutes, or you know, a drawing like this could normally take me about 10 minutes, but sometimes I start to go over the eyes, and you know, you know how it goes, you just sometimes add more detail. Yeah. It can be very rough, these are very rough drawings. I never really properly explained how I use sketchbooks um, because um, everyone. Cause everyone I think because um, you know they they have their own way of doing things. Really, they're very sketchy. A lot of lot of lines and mark makings. This one, this one particularly, these two are um, were used for painting. So you can see that how I initially draw them. What's good about it is that I didn't really go out in terms of drawing, making, writing, saying that I'm a colour. I just, just draw it and if I feel like painting it, I paint it later. So that's how I normally work. So it's very straightforward. Very straightforward way of painting. Um, sorry, or doing my heart work. So it's slightly anime style, like manga style. It's, you know, I, I sort of adopted it for years. And, you know, when I first, um, when I first, Properly took on drawing. I had a um, a manga called a manga um, book called How to Draw Mangas. That was a really old book, and it was my very first um, way of drawing. I didn't got. I didn't really get a a proper drawing book till later. It was always manga because I was so keen on drawing mangas. So it was kind of like ingrained in my how I do things. I try to be more like. Um, I try to be, you know, realistic, but it, to be honest, I, I think it's more. You know, I try. It's more me. It's not, you know, it's, like, it's a bit typical saying that, but it's what you're sort of accustomed to. Yes, I can say that. More, what you're more accustomed to than what you, you know, when you're accustomed to drawing a certain style, it's kind of in, ingrained in your, like your way of drawing, like almost like DNA, almost. I mean, this is pretty realistic, actually. This is more realistic, but typically not. Especially when I draw women, they draw in a very sort of manly style. So it's almost finished this book. Not finished, but you know, I've got a couple of pages to go. Very cheap to buy. Yeah, actually, the paper is really good. The paper itself is very good quality paper. You know, you can you can use some uh, liquid based um, materials, but only like a touch, like you know, if you use ink, just use ink, don't use watercolor basically because it will just crackle. Like, here's slightly like crackling because it's more than because I use liquid base material, so but it's still good paper, it's very smooth. And yeah, I like I like using this, that's how I use a, use a sketchbook. You can actually make this if you want to, but it's best to buy it, <laughs> you know, it doesn't cost much to be honest. I have um, an A4 size actually as well, so this is how I normally work. I'll show you the other one, so there's a brief demonstration. Is that empty? Oh, so yeah, there you go. Get more of these. <laughs> so, they're all the same. <laughs> so this is my last year's work, so this is probably, this is probably around September to um, um, December, sorry, not September, sorry, um, November to December, so this is between those those regions. So this is a similar way of working. Yeah. You can see that some of them you've already seen in, in paintings before, this is how I normally work. You know, very loose, very freestyle, it's, it's almost like freestyle way of doing things. But yeah, I do use ink a lot, I use um, Indian ink. Or calligraphy ink. Sometimes I use pen. Quite cool actually. 
Yeah, so I've got quite a few of them. You know, easy, easy to throw away as well. I mean, that's what I was saying about that I don't like using hardback sketchbooks. I mean, I had loads of hardback sketchbooks, but not, not all of them get used because... For a long time, I sort of thought, oh, you need to make your, your sketchbook presentable for people to see. And that's typically taught in art schools, like art education, basically. They, they obviously have to be ass- assessed for the two terms. But now that I don't need to do that, because it's your own personal sketchbook and nobody can see it, it's only you can see it. Even if it's a mad drawing of, <laughs> of naked people, <laughs> it's your drawing, <laughs> it's your sketchbook. So that's how I feel like when I'm using this. Like it's meant to be for just my own initial ideas. And sometimes I do upload them on my blog. And like I'm gonna upload I'm gonna quite upload these. Um, they're quite interesting. Because sometimes the drawings are very good, but I feel like, you know what, I'm gonna share them as a reference. And some drawings are like, you know, they're just drawings really. But then, you know, but it has made me more relaxed in how I use drawings. So it has so this this is this is my method of drawing and I like it that way because it's more straightforward and more simpler for me than instead of like um instead of too decorative or too you know because I don't like to spend too much time and energy I rather use that energy when it comes to the real painting the real piece so yeah so that's about it thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye.